it's Rachel welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome today is a battle review between the Fenty snap shadows and the elf bite size palette <laughs> A battle review is it's a review video where I review two products but I also compare them to let you know which one I think is better or at least give you enough information for you to decide which one is better so today we have the Fenty snap shadow palette in number one which is true neutrals compared to the elf bite-size eyeshadow in cream and sugar so as you can see they are fairly similar color schemes and they are definitely mini palettes so they're something that people might be wondering you know which one should I get so I am going to start off with swatching these palettes the elf palette is three dollars which is a phenomenal price and it has oh I already did this video once and wiped off the swatches so we're doing it again so it has two shimmers which are these two shades right here and two mattes and this palette has been raved about and compared I think to the Natasha Denona mini nude palette it has good <laughs> range for four shadows but it has a light matte and a dark matte not a mid-tone matte and a mid-tone shimmer and a light shimmer nothing mid-tone for me to work with which i find really lacking and then the fenty has six shadows for 25 dollars and it has three mattes and three shimmers it has a light matte a mid-tone matte and a dark matte and then all the shimmers I find are fairly mid-tone so it doesn't really have a nice like inner corner shimmer color but these are the Fenty shades these are the elf shades as you can see they're fairly similar tones in fact this one and this one do look like dupes the dark browns look almost exactly the same so there's those personally just based on the swatches the elf one just doesn't have exactly what I need to create a full look I would more go for the Fenty since it does have that mid-tone brown matte it has something I can more create a full look with without having to reach into another palette and the reason I would want like a mini palette like this would be for convenience and travel so I'd want it to be all including the mid-tone the light and the dark not just a light and a dark like this to me is really missing a mid-tone color but I have used both of them on my eyes today um, I use them together with the Fenty number no. 8 which is pastel frost and then I used a dark blue from the I think smitten in Switzerland or trendy in Tokyo one of those on the lower lash line the Sigma brown liner and some lashes to make this a really fun full look I should have silenced my phone but let's go into the footage where I show you how the shadows blend and work so you can kind of get an idea that way so <laughs> I don't really feel like going to my setup to finish my eye makeup and all that so you're gonna deal with terrible lighting and like a messy background because I'm at my desk where I normally do my makeup and I'm going to use both of these for my eye look because yeah I don't like both of them separately uh, so first of all I'm going to take the shade uh, human get it it's spelled like cumin, but is it come and get it or cumin get it? I don't know. It's this mid-tone brown in the Fenty palette. And I'm just going to lightly put that in the crease area to give myself 
like a nice mid-tone in the crease and this is still kind of dark but we're gonna blend that out with the light shade from the elf palette because neither palette is perfect but as you can see that mid-tone color blended out really quick and easy then I'm gonna take the same brush and this light peachy shade from the elf palette and just go over the edges really soften that brown up because it is a bit dark and in case you were wondering what lipstick I am wearing it is a Sephora Lip Stories color in the shade 49 ouch right here <laughs> so that is pretty much all I'm doing for the crease and then these two dark brown shades are pretty similar so I'm gonna use one on each eye to kind of demonstrate how those look so I'm just taking a tapered brush like this and going into the Fenty one and this is Afogato? I don't know what that word is but I'm just gonna pop that right on the outer corner and then take the blending brush and blend it into those initial colors we laid down. And that blended away just a little bit, so I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more. All right, so that's what that dark color looks like. And I'll get better lighting in just a minute. And then we're gonna go into the e.l.f. Bite Size Palette in that dark color so you can see the difference in how this one blends. And I'm just gonna place that on the outer edge and blend that. And it blended away just a little bit, so I'm gonna take a little bit more. All right, so let's go into natural light right here. And you can see um, this is the Fenty dark brown side. This is the e.l.f. dark brown side. This is just a little bit choppier. It was just a little more bit difficult to blend, but they look incredibly similar. And I'm pretty sure if the e.l.f. had a mid-tone brown and I had used a mid-tone brown from the e.l.f. in the crease, my eyes would look pretty much exactly the same because they look pretty much exactly the same. And now for the lid color, I am whoa, I'm going to take another Fenty mini palette because I really want to use a bright color. And I am going to take Dirty Denim. Dirty, is that what it is? Dirty denim right here. And just pop that on the, oh, let's wet that. Do you have something to wet that with? Yeah. I will say in this pastel palette, these shadows get hard pan really easy. So you really have to be careful with that and sometimes scrape off the top layer or take tape and take off the top layer. But other than that, like, they are really beautiful shimmers and really beautiful pastel colors. I really like them. But I don't know if you can see, like, look at that hard pan from wetting my shadow and this one has the same hard pan too so that's something to be aware of but now i'm gonna go into my two neutral palettes and take a similar shimmer from both of them so from the fenty it would be tequila night right here and then it'd be this coppery one right here and use that in between the dark brown and the blue shade 
to sort of transition the tones. See, that blended together really nicely. So now let's go in the e.l.f. shade. That also is blending everything together really seamlessly. So let's get back in daylight. So this, this is the mostly Fenty eye and this is the mostly e.l.f. eye at least as much as you know can be with only four shades and trying to do this semi-colorful look but let's get back to the video and my final thoughts on these palettes all right so like I said before this is the completed look from what you just saw from the footage of me blending everything together I used again the mid-tone matte brown right here in the crease and then this light color to blend it out and then I used the deep dark brown from each on a different side and also the dark coppery shimmer on each side to blend the blue color with the dark brown and I think the eyes look pretty identical and the colors that they do have similar work pretty similarly these just blend a little bit choppier in my opinion but it is only a three dollar palette and it works great for three dollars so if i had to choose a favorite out of these two i think clearly it would be the fenty snap shadows it has more of a complete color story of what i'm looking for and they blend and perform just a little bit better but for three dollars and four shades this is a really unbeatable deal so if this color story or any of the three dollar elf color stories fit what you're looking for i do think it is a good deal and i recommend going for it i just think the snap shadows are a little more complete color story wise and give me a little bit more blendability so let me know your thoughts and opinions on these two palettes in the comments down below which one did you think won this battle and what do you think I should battle out next I will battle out eyeshadow palettes foundations whatever products you guys want to see just let me know and thank you guys so much for watching do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you have not already and oh oh by the way still selling my merch if you guys are interested in some comfy t-shirts and showing me some support since I was just furloughed I'd really appreciate it check out my link in the description box for my shirts I have several designs and this one right here uh, five dollars of each sale goes to a charity so don't forget to check that out and I will see you guys next time bye